I'm getting links in my van. Where those towels are, water accumulated. And up there is a bunch of condensation. So what I'm thinking is happening, there's all these little, so it's like a gutter. So it's kind of a ridge here. And I think this has been collecting water from all the snow that was up here that melted. Like right here you can see a puddle. And over here there was a puddle that I just wiped up. But I think water is getting down in here and these um, gaps are kind of rusted. In some places you can see a pretty deep groove. I think water is getting in there making it on the inside, dripping down, and then evaporating and uh, condensing up there on the ceiling. So I'm gonna put some of this silicone uh, sealant in these little ridges, and hopefully that'll stop the water. There's a hole we plugged up. There was an antenna there, antenna. Yep. I also found out that there's this, uh, this button that um, lets the car know the back door is closed. There was some foam pads right here built up by the previous owner. Oh, hey dog. Um, that I guess made the button push in a little further. I ripped out the foam because it was all moldy. That tells me there's something wrong with that switch. Fun stuff. Wet rag to clean. Dry rag to dry. Silicone to seal. I'm almost out. Feel like a pastry chef. Patissier. I had just barely enough to finish the entire thing on both sides. <sighs> Brandon is making a foundry out of an old propane tank. That's what he was hitting with the sledgehammer the other day. Hair dryer. Uh, modified furnace. Hair dryer. Hair dryer. Just a load will equal to two thousand dollars. <laughs> He also bought a hair dryer from a thrift store to use as a blower. <coughs> How's the hair dryer working? That's the wrong direction. I think these two parts go together. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do now. We can fix um, it. He didn't need the heating well, we element in it, so he removed it. that and element. tried to reassemble it. <laughs> Rocket ship. Patent design, don't steal it. SpaceX, watch out. Neither of us are really experienced with circuitry, especially no. AC circuitry. Jeez! <laughs> that works a little nicer. Smooth and funny. It's like a vacuum. Yeah. We decided to just use oh. a battery as a power supply. It's probably just acting as a gyro. I did a little retrofit this evening. I bought a bunch of these from Banggood. I bought three of these little panels, and they come with some adapters to um, plug into your light sockets. These were the closest to my light sockets, but they were too fat. So what I did was I cut off the connector here and soldered on a Dean's connector. Uh, not genuine Dean's, but I think these Dean's are superior because they have grippage. So that's what they look like. They're very bright. And one up front. The third one I haven't decided yet. I'm either going to put it in the center to replace this fluorescent light, or I'll put it under the... Right there. When the hood's open, I think this turns on. There's no bulb in it. I'm just fascinated at how bright these LEDs are compared to the old ones. I'm going to open the back door here. Just so much brighter. And it's a wider color, whereas the old bulbs were more yellow camera kind of picked it up as yellow for a minute there, but it's pretty white, bright, vivid illumination.